traveling on a bumpy road in Kansas. So that is Hasha Hannah. She got her name because everywhere we go, she just wants to drive. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. I sit over here and sleep for the most part. But anyways, yeah, we gotta go right here. Yeah. So anyways, I don't know why I'm telling her where to go. For 10 hours, continue straight. He thinks he still needs to tell me how to drive. Well, anyways, we're in Kansas. We are headed over to a place you guys might even recognize. Um, he has his own YouTube channel and stuff like that. So once we get there, I'll introduce him to you guys and we'll go from there. But for right now, it's gonna be a surprise till we get there. But we're almost there. We only got 31 minutes till we arrive. We got our 50 foot trailer. So that can only mean one thing, that we're getting 50 foot worth of awesomeness. And also <laughs> Hannah's parents decided that they were gonna tag along and bring their trailer and just in case they either find, find something else. Yeah, in case we find something or Jimmy finds something that he wants. So I don't know. I don't know really what all we're getting into. I got a little gist of what we're getting into, but without us rambling on, let's get over here and see what all we get into. Alright, so now I know why Dorothy's whole house got picked up. Because this wind is so crazy up here. I mean, there are sticks blowing across the road that I keep thinking are snakes, like, really fast. Um, there's all kinds of trash bags and clothes. That I've seen a shirt and a blanket that's stuck on the fence, just blowing in the wind. It's crazy. So, hopefully, we can still get good um, sound out of this up here. But, if not, I'm sorry. We'll just put music over it and show you all the cool things that we see today. Yeah, look at the, like that right there. Woo! Look at all the trees. Farm truck. Oh, I thought uh, you meant the Oh, yeah, I don't care about no trees. Look at that farm truck. Hey, hey baby. We're getting closer. All right, oh, I see the yellow school bus. That's what we're looking for. Let me go look at that. that. Oh, <laughs> that is the coolest sign. Oh, my gosh. This is wild looking down here. Oh, yeah, here we are. Is it at, he's got a gas station? Oh, I see it. You see it? You see oh. it? You see it? <laughs> there it it's is. beautiful. Where do I need to go? Um, turn left, right in front of that school bus. Well, go on down, actually. Go on down. Okay, go on, go on. There's the man, the myth, the legend right there. Oh. You see it? Those things are beautiful. You're welcome. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, thank you for wrecking my truck, baby. <laughs> Finally, 32 years later. 32 years? Yeah, heck yeah. That's a hell of a long trip. Yeah, it was. <laughs> well, Corey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. Anthony. Yeah. You just went just you heading straight just over there, aren't you? <laughs> you even got your sweatshirt on. <laughs> this is a little bit nicer. It's almost the right. I actually like the color. Yeah, I, did. I mean, I thought it was bluer, really. It'd probably actually get a little bit darker well, blue if you cleaned it up real good. Yeah. Golly. <laughs> Look, it's got little locks on it, too. Yep. Is it a lot solider? Looks like yeah. my <laughs> It's really amazing for how old it is. Um, the doors are actually there. Wow. I know. This is going to be different. Yeah. Wow. That that even sounds good. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's not rattly or nothing. Yeah. Hmm. And they don't have a huge hole up there. 
It's a lot better than your truck when we got it. Yeah. These doors like are heavy. Like this spot here? Are actually nice. <laughs> the doors are heavy. Yeah, heavy. Yeah. They probably weigh 40 pounds more because there's actually a door there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I know you guys have probably, if you guys are following Hardcore Fab, you guys will see this on his channel, but I get to see you in person, so I hope you guys are jealous. So here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That is awesome. Uh, it's a lot I like your cantilever setup. That is awesome. Yeah. It's all oh kind of gosh. filthy now. It got went through a rainstorm on the way back from Oklahoma last weekend. Oh yeah. That is awesome. You make the seats? Yeah. Those are cool. I love the cantilever. I want to try cantilever so bad, but <sighs> I love it. It works out pretty good. The biggest thing to remember if you're doing it is just make sure that you keep, you know, the couple of yeah. pivot points all the same length so yeah. that the stuff doesn't get all wonky when you're, you know, going down the road. That's cool. So, and hooker and blows here? Yeah, it's inside shot. All right, we got to see it. Yeah. The patina on this truck is really good, I though. I mean, it's almost like it's burnt. Cracking. Just that door. Really? Yeah. The rest of it's kind of actually the other door. If somebody was wanting to restore a truck, it would have been like a well, perfect door. Look at his uh, the back here. That's pretty yeah. cool. A little wrench. There's the Ford cab. Yeah. What's a that Chevy cab here? Yeah. That looks like a Beaver Crossing. We got. Is that a '46 cab? Yeah. We have a '46 cab. I've got the whole entire truck, pretty much, um, minus like. Uh, Steering column, there's a few other little things. Oh, yeah. We've got a, the frame's been bought. I love the bullet holes. Yeah. Those are so cool. So, this is the other truck that I'm picking up, the cab for another project. But what's it say on the door? Armor? Something, yeah. Something. It says something. But man, it's got all kinds of character bullet holes. We're going to grab a suction cup and pull that door out. Eh. Heck, time we get home, I have more dent in it. <laughs> I love the mirrors. Fold out mirrors. That's a pretty good cab. I mean, the cool thing about Kansas, I guess, that you probably don't get the weather like we get in Indiana, I'm guessing. Yeah, not nearly as bad. And uh, a lot of these bigger trucks like this, they get parked in a barn and don't get drove. Except yeah. For just the harvest time, and I think. Yeah. That's, good. That's sweet. Sweet. All right. Well, let's go see. Let's go see this thing. So is this where all the magic happens? Yeah, something like that. Alright, so this is what I've been wanting to check out. So it's pretty cool to see someone else just have, you know, just the basic stuff, what you need. Not no million dollar operation to get this stuff done. And what year is this? Like a 46? 46. 46 Chevy? Yeah. I love the bedside. So I will be honest, before I met you, I've seen this truck and I was really jealous of the bed. And I'm like, yeah. man, that bed is so cool. Just so happened Anthony owns it and now we've become friends through social media and now I'm standing here with it, but this thing is awesome. You want to tell us a little bit about this thing? So this is a 46 Chevy, like we talked about. Um, this was originally a ton and a quarter or ton and a half dump truck. Wow. That um, we built and turned into this. It's got full custom chassis, um, custom cantilever air ride stuff in the front, uh, four link air ride stuff in the back, 14 bolt in the rear with the um, semi adapters, the eight to 10 lug adapters for the semi wheels in the back. Yeah. Going for that cartoony look, so 22 fives in the back and then 17s in the front. Heck yeah. So it gives it that cartoony feel. What's what's a power in this baby? We got a six liter with a 671 blower on top of it. Golly. Shoo. So. Not, <laughs> the upper. Not too special. <laughs> not too special. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, the blower's special, but everything else <laughs> other than that is pretty common stuff. Stock internal, or did you build the internals? Stock internals, I pulled everything apart, um, threw some gaskets in there, and uh, checked everything, mic'd everything, everything turned out good, gapped the rings for some boost, and yeah. uh, ready to rock and roll. Heck Got, yeah. Uh, stage two truck cam in it. So, a little bit of rumble, not yeah. anything too crazy. I kind of wish I'd have went a little bit crazier with the cam, but yeah. at the time when we built this, this we were building it as part of the uh, Radical Rod build-off, Okay. and we were actually supposed to take this to Nebraska and meet everybody at the Speedway Museum up there and drive to the SEMA show. 
So wow. I was trying to keep it a little bit tame. And yeah. No. That's also why it's got the snipers on there and stuff, fuel injection for driving through, you know, mountains and things and all that <laughs> kind of stuff. So. So this is the same pretty much cantilever as crow that we seen earlier, right? S very similar. It's very similar. Yeah, okay. a lot of the a lot of geometry of it's the same. The style of it's just a little different with the placement of the shocks and stuff. Oh. The shocks are actually up in front of the radiator on this. Oh, okay, yeah. Dang, that's so cool. I love how you just pretty much put the front end over top of the axle too. That looks good. What's the front axle out of? Is that like a Dodge straight axle? Um, no, it's actually, I couldn't find one of those. So it's actually a uh, Dana 44 out of a three quarter ton four wheel drive Chevy pickup. Okay. Like a 75 model-ish. Yeah. And I cut the center section out of it and retubed it. Guess so. that works. Yeah, I, I always see like a, like Dodge three quarter tons or one tons. I got that straight axle. Yep. And I always thought that'd be cool for a build. I was looking for one, looking for one. I could not find one. And I yeah. was out of time, so it was time to do something, and I just went that route and put one together. So Yeah, good enough. Yeah. <laughs> this looks so cool. These are all we need in the Crosley. Let's see them. They swivel. Can we open the door? Come over here, you know, here. Oh, there, you can get in even. Go on. I don't know which way to go. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so what? what's this? All right, I'm getting sidetracked. I do this. Before yeah. we get there, what's this off of? I mean, is you, so did you build that? or? That is actually a uh, old hay rake. Hay rake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That okay. I chopped all up and turned into that. I was looking for a original style, like old auto crane thing yeah. you know, they used to have back in the day. Yeah. And all of them that I found, they were going to end up being to where like the top of that was going to be at the roof. Yeah. In here and the side here. And it would have just looked ridiculous because it had been way too you know, oversized. So what? what's <laughs> this an air tank, I'm guessing? Since that's, it's got port? Uh, that's air tank. So you've probably seen, you know, old timers using those for like air bombs. Yeah, and they would have been in an air bomb on the back of an old wrecker truck. So I threw it on there as an old air bomb, but it's also the air tank for the truck. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then up in here is our fuel cell. Ah, so that's kind of what you were talking about. Looks like an old toolbox, but yeah, I've been having her else to put it. So there it went. So you just sit in it and it moves, or do you? Have to <laughs> There's a lever. There's a lever there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh my! Yeah, I guess that helps getting in it. Oh yeah. My gosh. one way to do it homie yeah i never thought about putting that in a cab i told her i said that's why they keep us around oh for yeah. all these good ideas yeah, yeah all right well that solved one one truck i was gonna put that on the top of the 50 foot but then anthony well actually anthony's wife here said put it in the bed of the truck that's why we keep these girls around but now we got more room for activity up here on the wedge trailer so next we're going to be loading Hannah's 59 Chevy Viking up on the trailer after we cut it in half. We're gonna take a torch and cut it right behind the bed. And Jimmy, Jimmy, we're gonna blindfold Jimmy because he's against this idea. He's like the dump, uh, the dump uh, trailer king. Yeah, you can turn the truck around if we do it right there, I guess. Think you know, smarter, there. not harder, right? <laughs> we'll just do that. Can I drive my truck? Mm. Am I allowed? I got the keys. <laughs> <laughs> she drove it all the way here. I never drove it. Yeah, he always. Gotta show you what I found here. Okay. Bless his heart. He worked way too hard. He worked himself to death.
All right, plan of attack. We're gonna cut Hannah's truck in half. I'm just chilling, eating a Slim Jim. Yeah. Hannah's on Marketplace looking for more stuff to buy. <laughs> and um, that's, that's what's going on right now. So we got 40 foot left the trailer. So Hannah, we got 40 foot. Calculate all that all up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where he came from. Can we get a Maserati on there? Maybe. Maserati, that ain't rusty enough. We can paint it. Like Jim says, what mama wants, mama gets. <laughs> you know what you say? That's right. Get her. More blocks. It's going to look like Jenga under there. <laughs> He's got us some blocks. Will you go to the gas station and just fill it up? Yeah. Well, that's handy. That's pretty convenient. Very convenient. Just walk straight to the gas station. You <laughs> tank. <laughs> The tank? We're getting the it's tank. Coming. Okay. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> <laughs> we want the tail lights though, too. Like you want the tail lights? Yeah, okay. And the wood from the bed. And that cute little door. <laughs> Never mind. Leave the bed together. They want everything. I was going to save the drive shaft. Look. Vehicle's sold off of our car lot here. Really? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they sold the whole vehicle? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> She moved way back. It's free now. You hopping in? I, well, I guess. Because it's going to rain. <laughs> I can hear it in the car. <laughs> By the way, this is Hannah's mom. First time on the channel. Oh, my. <laughs> oh my. So, this is the future home of Hardcore Fab. Future home of Hardcore Fab. This right is here. awesome. I love all six stories. All six stories. Woo. Uh, so, real quick, before we go in. Horror paradise. What is, what was this? This was a flour mill originally. Flour mill. Yeah. So there's an elevator behind it where they had the grain, and then they pulled it out of the elevator into this building and made it into flour. Nice. In 1908. Yeah. 1908. 1908. Wow. Ooh, it's nice and cold in here. Yeah, it's cold. Oh, Don't get my coat out. Whoa. How are you gonna? It, it was extremely cold yesterday here. <laughs> Dang. This is cool. Oh, look at the oh, Divco yeah. front end. Look at this. Look at all the forklifts. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, those are the kind I know how to drive. <laughs> Ooh, look at all them oil cans. I love this. I do too. Yes. Wow. Is it going to be like wall art or something? It's going to go for the Divco. That oh, got well, we got to go see the Divco. Day two of getting beautiful old things. <laughs> um, Auto salvage. Yeah. Nice. So we hear Anthony, um, he's taking us to a place that is looks already to be about what I would think heaven looks like. Anthony has taken us to a salvage yard. Um, he did say there's a whole roll of load stars, so we're excited about that. I think it's super cool. I kind of the white box is pretty cool too. Yeah. <laughs> Look, that is size. Like. Oh. Oh yeah. Those could have been that old semi. <laughs> Thing's pretty nice. The dashes in these things are always amazing. Like that dash, 
<laughs> yeah. comes apart. This one is awesome. Still there. Yes. I do want a Geo Metro. <laughs> Boy, it'd been nice to have had that when you had to redo the top oh of that one. Uh, yeah. Somebody say, here, we'll Red go. car in the very back, next to that other thing. It looks like a Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> Pinto? Hey, uh, Hugo? Never heard of a Hugo. Well, yeah. since I was you haven't heard of a Hugo? I've never heard of a Hugo. <laughs> 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 yeah, the Lodestar. Yeah, the children bought one brand new when I was in high school. Our, our senior, and brand new. She had left the parking brake on during the day and it froze up and I remember her trying to go across the yard. I want to go in that. Can we go in that? Go in it. Let's go. You lead the way. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I gotta get on that side too. Then that means you gotta go in All first. Right. <laughs> Ready to fight raccoons. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> yeah, she might be a little rough. Yeah. You take a shower real easy. It's right. <laughs> yeah. You stand anywhere. Can you imagine driving this thing? No. Look how Give him a little better. Whew. Thing's cool. Rough, but cool. They should, they should have turned the heat on if they knew we were coming. Yeah, I know. Rude. Hurry, babe. They got them tight in here. <laughs> Shouldn't have ate that last cinnamon roll. All kinds of cats. You got a bunch of them. This thing's cool. Yeah, it is. We need them. <laughs> I told you, she's worse than me. I am not. Yes, you are. I haven't said I needed anything. I do like that. Yeah, I do. Put a Lodestar clip on it. With the flat front end, you can put whatever on it you wanted to, really. Clink. That thing is cool. It says general or something on that little tag down there. It's about to say CWC. Oh, yeah. All over the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> Dump it over, just stand it up. That ain't terrible. That thing is really cool. Well, we have till 4.30. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll just start a line. I love that one. Man, look at this one. What is the front end on this? <laughs> That's the, the ugly stepsister. <laughs> I love the patina on this one. The front end of that one kind of looks like that cartoon bit. You know. Yeah. What is that? Is that yeah, that's an older Lodestar. Well, they definitely got prettier. Yeah. You know what, though? Like you said, that's an ugly duckling. Yeah. Tino, that's perfect. Cool. Hmm. I like the bed sides on this one. Yeah. We both had their license. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, the old snapper. Remember whenever you rode our lawnmower up on the Yeah, the AC, AC unit? unit? Yeah. <laughs> he, it was an accident. We like bought a story. one off Facebook Marketplace and he's mowing and it wouldn't stop. And he drove it right up on the AC hey, unit. Look, um, I that's it right there. Yeah. That's the one we're taking home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rumor has you it someone already bought it. Look at that tour bus over there. I know, I see the box. Oh my gosh, the bus. I that's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. Do we have room for two buses? This one is awesome. So Anthony, you bought this one? Yep. That's nice. All we gotta do is be a um ramp truck, I think is what it's gonna end up being. Well don't be cooler than us. Don't be cooler than us. <laughs> 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 I think uh, hookers and blow on the ramp back yeah. there. Oh yeah. Rolling down the highway would be pretty sweet. That'd be pretty sweet. It's perfect patina. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. I like it. It has a black grill. You don't really see them with black grills. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody probably just rattle cam that, I'm guessing. Maybe. It's got perfect know. patina. Looks good. That one, I guarantee you, put battery in and start it. 
<laughs> That's what you need. No. You want it? Oh, look at it. <laughs> it's a Yugo. It's manual. All the three wheelers in there. Well, that's what brought me over here. Yeah. Tell Jeremy one of the three wheelers. <laughs> we'll buy the cab. I don't have a front end on it. I do like this one. It's like a '66 Chevy. Oh yeah. These are all cool. I love this Dodge. Is that a long one? Yeah, it's yeah. long, long. Is it a It looks like maybe. <laughs> what? Where? Gas right pump right back here. That's a neighbor's. Oh. That's the neighbor's. That's still video. It? Yeah. Uh, it's not for sale. They get rid of it. Hannah says, Hey, you guys. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, it's just in the. Uh, Hannah's been wanting a gas pump for years now. Yes, and I want the crusty kind like that. Oh, oh my gosh. It's got perfect yep. patina. Oh my goodness. I want that. I think he's keeping that he's one. He's already redoing it. He's <laughs> doing that one. <laughs> Darn it. next to it. It's got perfect patina on the doors. Oh, my oh, them open better than my doors. Oh my gosh. Well, I bought a box. This is Anna's box. She purchased this, not me. <laughs> Never quite. You gotta tell him to hold on. You do. Because I got I got stuff I want to load in there. Okay. She found more stuff she wants to put in the box before you put that on. So, here she comes. Okay, I've got my own bundle deal going on. <laughs> <laughs> so I need you to price things out for me. I found two really cool. She's not buying the tank. She? No, she's yeah. buying that thing beside the tank. Oh. I can do it. Oh. Can do it. See, I don't. Corey says you got to do people down, but I, I can't do that. You don't have to. If it's a good deal already, you don't have to. Well, it's always a good deal. That thing is cool. Front's junk. Yeah. All treasures. Look, they're a perfect collar. I can decorate my cabinet with these. There you go. That cart. I'm gonna put it inside and put my oil cans on it. There you go. I like the cart. 
I wonder what else you bought. This, that shelf, and the other shelf. Okay. How cute is that? I do like the car. All right, you, you got to. <laughs> yeah. What? What's he got over there? Oh. Do you wow. get that too? No. That's, should we I'll add take, that on I'll here? Take that. Jim, what if I want to? I'll do thirty. <laughs> I'll do twenty-six. Actually. <laughs> I'm too started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now Jimmy's got a way to go. See, it's not me the problem of buying stuff. It's Anna. I just got to carry stuff to our box now. Okay, I got that. And these. Let's see, look how full. These were on old um, like light poles on the top. But they're a perfect color. So I can decorate my new shelves that I got for uh, steel with these. And Jimmy and bought an oil pump. Jim having bin wars because... Um, they have this one really cool thing. I, and Jim's, he goes, I probably have to have 25. I said, I'll do 30. <laughs> Jimmy and Hannah's having a bidding war. <laughs> well, now we have room to put stuff. Yeah. And we bought the cab. You getting it? Look at you opening it with your shoulder. Oh, uh, here. Oh there right. and we got insulation for the garage <laughs> climb through <laughs> so there is a hole on the other side of the cabinet there's like a big thing cut out um, <laughs> There we go. But now we don't know how we're getting Corey out of there. Oh, oh. <laughs> deal of the day. Stuck in there. Getting my pump. That's right. What else is there we can find? We got. I feel like we got a little bit more room. We do. I'll look. Awesome. Tell us there's a cost to use the restroom here. <laughs> <laughs> I should back here so I don't fall. I gotta pull it off sometime. It's empty. I can take two more. Gas tank is empty. The you wouldn't want to hurt that fender. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see all my fenders now. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see the other side? All right, one more. One more. Yeah, that I poured all that on me. Good job, homie. The cool rat rod with the Beverly Hillbilly. You need that with a rat. Corey, the clampets. The clampets. <laughs> Save this old girl prank. Now you're breaking stuff. It's, it's not pulling. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. A three wheeled mower. Wow. Oh, water. What the heck? This said if Jeremy had a mower back in the day, it'd be this one. They're That's all true. like little go karts. What is that? Ambrose Wines Ambrosia Salad. So we were going to buy this box or the box we loaded. But this one is going to take 30 years to unload. Oh my gosh. I love that. <laughs> you know the drill. Yeah. Well, let's look in it first. Make sure there ain't nothing stupid heavy. No snakes. I love this is going on the farm truck or something. Okay. On the new. The or a new shotgun. Yep. Grab hold. Captain Jack Sparrow over there. Tell you what, this man can drive that thing. Are you getting nervous yeah, for your I'm truck? Nervous, nervous for my truck. <laughs> Oh 
my gosh, there is another Viking. Oh, you just wait till you see it. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Are you kidding me? There's another one. I didn't know so many Vikings exist. Like we, we are in Hutchison, Kansas. Yeah, every one of the nice, beautiful ones are in Kansas. I would not move up here because of the wind, but but we will be back for more Vikings. And here we are. poop hanging out in here. This is cool. I don't know what all that poop is, but it's, it's a lot. That's a big old mouse if that is poop. Should be. <laughs> and now I'm rethinking uh, being in here. Why ain't you all in your seat? They don't it's use It's got the, that in it. The mouse don't <laughs> usually take off with you. This well, is one that poops that big, Mike. This is definitely a camper. <laughs> I can't wait to see. All right, so we just loaded the short bus up. We're at Adventure Made From Scratch. So check him out on YouTube as well. This is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to see what all he got, all, what all he has. So I guess Hannah's already ran off. So I guess let's see what's going on here. Hey guys, just so you know, we just now got in the gate, 10 foot in, and you guys are already stopped. <laughs> Crosley? Kind of looks like one. Ah, uh, that's too big. Hannah's not even made it. <laughs> yeah, homie. That's the gate where we just got into. <laughs> A 63 Studebaker? That's the kind that that one guy has. Yeah, that thing's cool. First aid, homie, it says. Now I gotta come back with another trailer. Yeah. Now we're gonna have to bring my truck in. There's another. Way to clear at your house, boy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Man, look at that old Dodge over here. Wow. Ah, that thing is perfect. Short bed Dodge. <laughs> Oh, look at them. Look at them. <laughs> yes. The yes, that's that it. Trying to buy. Let's oh, buy them all. Oh, <laughs> no, there's a whole fleet of them. We can put them on the trailer. This side is the place. coolest place ever. This is what I want my yard to look like. <laughs> this is what I just said I was trying to find. Yeah. They're a little Melgy. There's a Mustang. Old International over there. Oh. That thing is sweet. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. I like it. I love the bus. Oh my gosh, this of old cars back there. Man, this is so cool. I know. That looks like my farm truck color. Mm -hmm. Man. Yeah, like, this is cool, whatever the heck that is. Uh, I don't know. If, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bus is so cool. Mm -hmm. Kind of. There's so much stuff. Well, Now I'll be messing you. Oh my God. I, love. I love it. Put a 12 valve in that baby. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's the right color. Uh -huh. Man. Mm -hmm. That looks like a Jimmy contraption if I ain't ever seen. The one back there? Yes. Yep. You're, you'll agree with me. Yeah. You can see it. <laughs> Dang. Gosh. It just keeps going. Why don't we bring a bigger trailer? I brought the biggest trailer we could find. I know. Jim needed one. Yeah. Jimmy, yeah. Ford Stubby over there. Oh, wow, well, yeah. 
<laughs> just too much. You see the old tanker truck? I see the tanker truck. Yeah, that's a, like a, it's a, like a service truck. That's wild. Looks like it was a filling station uh, delivery thing. There's a, another one. Oh, there's a. Uh, yeah, deer too. I cannot believe the. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that one. Oh, man, this is the coolest. Yeah, yeah. We're coming back here. We're coming back right here. Yeah. Is that a short bed? Oh my, this is a cool freaking thing. Dang. Make that your mail truck? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I do like it though. It would be a good ramp truck. Yeah. But that cab is what I was saying on my mail truck. Keep going. Oh, the, the Chevy back here? Yeah. yeah. This that would be good. Well, we know where to find cabs at, literally. Yeah. So that ain't going to be a problem finding a cab. Whenever we get ready to do that project, I know where we can come to. Uh-huh. Oh, this, is so cool. this is literally my goal in my life. <laughs> she said, and that's <laughs> why it's not. You're not allowing this? Well, something like you ain't collecting minivans. Not minivans. What'd you find? Little beetles. Beetles. <laughs> yeah. Love the bed. Mm -hmm. I mean, that'd be, be our last spot. Fill it. Oh my God. That's even got trailers. I know. Man. Gorgeous. Federal. <laughs> There's two of them. Man. I would. I like the green one. I like the green one. Well, you have to go with the blue because I like the green. Man, put that in front of your mailbox <laughs> truck? No. Hmm. Look at Jimmy. Look at him. That's the truck I need. <laughs> That's what it's all about. There's a good looking little cab right there. The Ford? Oh, that Ford. Yeah, mm. Just a cab though? Yeah. Why not? Why are you watch his little faces? I know. You can almost tack one together, you know? Like yeah, put it back. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this guy is a gangster. Oh my gosh, I love that. Let's take it home. Even the inside. Is... The door's probably not going to open. It's a big window, too. I love those. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, I must say, Kansas has treated us well. Um, and we're going back. Yeah. And at the last junkyard, we. This is our last stop, hopefully, to get fuel. We gotta drop the school bus off at its new owner, and then we gotta unload both of these whenever we get home. I'm sure that's gonna be an apparatus all in itself, but this should be the last stop of our Kansas trip.
wanted to know and he was throwing throwing one in, I wouldn't have picked a bent one. But it is very, I like the patina on it. It's obviously very durable here. <laughs> All right, we are back from Kansas. Well, we'll give you a walk around of the stuff, kind of close-ups of what we bought, and then our ideas, what we're gonna do with them. My two shelves, I don't know yet, so I'll have to, maybe in one of the future videos, you'll see it looking real nice somewhere. But uh, where do we start? This way, that way? Um, part of it's over here, and part's on the other driveway. All right, so I have one shelf in here. Doors need a little adjusting, because they're just gonna show you what's in them. And that's the point of having doors, we're gonna hide stuff in there. There's one shelf. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other one yet. I really want it inside, but it's really heavy. Um, let's go to the, the north lot. Let's go over there and show them. All right, so this is what I decided that I wanted in Kansas. I bought this to sell, but it would have hurt my feelings if no one didn't buy it because then I could build it one day. But it does have awesome patina. Mm -hmm. But here it says something. Roth Ford. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it had like a something there. It's got perfect patina. And it, you ought to see the inside. It's just like new. And it's actually... <laughs> Still smells like a new car. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty solid. It's got a little bit of rot down here, but... It's a lot better than this Indiana stuff that we have here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some one of you guys might need this. If you need it, contact me. And to this side, patina is perfect on this side too. Nice little truck. Bang that out. Perfect. All right, on to what Hannah got. I guess originally it was a U.S. mail um, box. Yeah, on the way on the way home, we're telling our friends we bought a mailbox, and they think we bought like a little baby yeah. mailbox. <laughs> no, we and then they're like, "What's that giant box on the back?" I said, "That's our mailbox." <laughs> so I'm pretty sure. Yes, yeah, so you left my cart in there. That was very important. Um, I'm gonna have that inside. But how cool! It's like a jail cell kind of. I mean, I don't. From what I've been to at Brushy Mountain, I spent a lot of time there, and um, reminds me of Brushy Mountain. So we'll open her up and show you what we got. Here you go. Okay. So we have, you know, just the nice styrofoam. That came with it. And I thought, well, my goodness, we are going to have to Use that in the garage somewhere. And then I got this cute little cart. I don't, I mean, I'm gonna put all my, Corey makes fun of me because I collect cans. Um, like what, oil cans, gas cans. That's gonna go on that and go in our, whatever room you call it. <laughs> and then those little glass things over there. I love those. And Terry was really nice and knew I had to have those too, so. <laughs> the plan with this is we're gonna make a merch truck out of it. So when we go to shows, we'll be able to sell shirts and hats and sweatshirts and stuff like that. But a slam down merch truck, we have a truck in mind for that. Let me just get this out of the way. I mean, is this not the cutest thing? It's very, I mean, it's in good shape. Yeah, I like the cart. You really do? Yeah. <gasps> Look what's in here, and I didn't even know. What, what's it say? Mobile. It's a cart of regular motor oil. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Hannah is addicted to cans. We can't afford a gas pump yet, so. Well, we probably could afford a gas pump when we stop buying other stuff. Other stuff but yeah. in the meantime, we're collecting cans. I do love a, a nice can. This one is very nice. <laughs> I love the back of that. I do too. Just yeah. I thought it was full. It's empty. Yeah. That can. Yeah, it's empty. Yeah, the back doors on this are killer. I, I when we first seen it, I thought it said gel on the back of it. It says mail, but. What is going on? Oh, it's at the bottom. It's got a piece of metal. There you go. 
Yeah, I I love this. It's like I can't tell if that's paint or a sticker. I think it's paint, but it's just so coming off there. Yeah. We'll have to have Paul put like our logo on the side of it. Just like that. Yeah. Paul. Paul's the man. Mm -hmm. He can do it. And you can see Hannah kind of pointed out. I didn't point. I didn't realize, but the grate is on there facing vertical instead of horizontal with the other ones. <laughs> Come on, show them what else you got. All right. Well, that was you. That was not me because I'm fine with what I got. But you think I? I need something a little more. Nicer. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's go. Yeah, it is rotted out here, but once it's not going on this cab by no means but once we get it onto the other truck we'll cut all this out like this and then picture the wheel and tire here yeah, i was gonna say that's like that perfect really yeah yeah kind of give you a idea of what we got planned but like i said not this truck it show you guys that it's gonna be this truck yeah so our original plan we were gonna take this lodestar and put it in front of the box and because, if you wanted to drive the box, you could technically cut yeah. this here and put that drive on the, the face box. Of it. That'd be wild. You could. You could, yeah. Yeah, you could use the windshield and everything. Yeah, I know. Yeah, let's not cut our our school bus. Actually, hey, the school bus is for sale. I'm selling stuff. I'm in the I'm in a selling mood. I'll sell the school I'm bus. Cleaning, even though it's still freezing cold. All yeah. right, so here we are. Hannah's new to us 1959 Chevy Viking. And you might be wondering why we bought this. But look at this. Here's one of the key features. The doors? Yes. So. That's like easier than my second gen. And I love the tank. Yeah, it the, won't be going on my Viking, but it'll be going on something. So the reason why we got another cab is Hannah's truck is an Indiana cab. And when we started, the doors were like, not the hinges are rotted off at the the a pillar and nothing really the doors don't shut it's got rust up here not this truck hannah's truck has um it's all rotted out right here so we bought this cab from anthony it's super solid we're the plan is eventually not right away but whenever we get some time we're going to take the cab off hannah's truck and put this cab on it and uh patina it to make it uh her color or whatnot but that is the plan okay now we're gonna go to the other side of the property where we forgot about another cab that we had on the truck but jimmy hauled this one in the bed of his truck um, oh thanks to and the other chevy cabs over there the chevy cab? <laughs> there's that that olive color cab we bought too i thought you were talking about that but you're talking about the yellow one yeah yeah but i we, don't know what other cab you're talking about we bought two chevy cabs and that ford cab gonna have to be a surprise to me too the one that was on the back of jimmy's trailer i thought that was just the the yellow cab no it was in the bed <laughs> <laughs> hannah's like i don't even know what's going on <laughs> no and here's mr backway welcome back golly we're the other we're walking back now homie <laughs> <laughs> he just now made it over here yeah i did oh bless you backway you remember the it's cab coming now? back to me yeah. Um, Corey was telling me where we got it at, and I do remember walking through there, and Corey was saying, it's a nice, solid cab. wonder how much he'd have to have for that. That was part and of your bundle deal. It was. It was part of my bundle deal. What, which way are way, we going? This, this truck here, I had a guy drop it off and just want, wanting to make it more solid. Well... All that is rotted out. So the yellow cab that was in the bed of Jimmy's truck is going on this one. And uh, just keep this truck in mind and we'll get back to it here in a little bit. And I'll show you the yellow cab that goes on this cab here. And then there's uh, Phoebe just chilling <laughs> with her doors open. How do they even get open? Uh, probably the wind. All right, so this is what Hannah, she remembered the yellow front end, but she forgot about the cab. Now, is that, oh. Where's the other cab? It's up at the top of the hill. Oh, that's the one I remember. Yes. You're all confused on <laughs> what know. happened here. I know. So this yellow front end is a 54 Chevy. And the only reason I bought it was because it was yellow. 
in case I find a school bus, because usually school buses, they take the front end off. And I found a school bus that needs a front end. So I went ahead and brought this front end and we just got in case. Box. I forgot about yeah, it. Yeah, you were there during this whole trip, remember? <laughs> I do remember, but I'm saying I forgot where it went and I, well, I remembered it, it now. <laughs> um, this was too cool. And uh, we also had to have it as well. <laughs> but the prices were just so good. I would sell this cab if anybody's interested in that. It's pretty solid Kansas metal. But here it is. This is a sweet little cab. I love the little cab lights on it. We're going to swap it over. Actually, I'm not even sure if I'm swapping it over. I think the customer is just going to come get it now that it's got a nice cab. And then they can build it from there and do whatever they want with it. Well, there, Yeah, there's that. So let's go back down here and see what Hannah's got going on. This thing is really cool. It did not come from Kansas but it is here i guess i'll kind of give you a, a hint so the van's here and it's donor trucks right there of course it is a cummins so look forward to that on the channel cummins powered van of course you got jealous what are you doing minnie All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. As always, we appreciate each and every one of you guys. Yeah, thank you for going along on these adventures with us. Um, it is a lot of fun, and we like to go collecting, and hopefully you guys do too because we do a lot of that and bring you along with us. And I know you guys want to see us build stuff. And it's in, like, the boring stages of, you know, waiting on parts or trial and error with something so um right now things are at a standstill so it's a good time while you're waiting on part to go buy more stuff so um <laughs> that's exactly what we did but yeah we won't keep you guys any longer so i guess we'll see uh yeah if you've made it this far congratulations we appreciate you watching <laughs> um but anyways like comment subscribe like always and we will catch you next Wednesday at 6 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs>